Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another video this week. If you're new here, my name is Jeronica Mycia, but all my friends call me G. And if you're a tiny subscriber, thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face. And if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe. Do not forget to follow me over on Instagram, girl, for all of the fabulous updates, okay? And come back each week for weekly uploads. So if y'all haven't noticed, girl, it is literally like 500 degrees outside. It is so hot and I literally find myself either not wanting to go anywhere like I do not want to leave the house you can catch me at like 6 p.m. anything after 6 p.m. maybe I'll go other than that girl I am not going outside it's so hot and when I do have to leave the house I'm just finding that I don't want to get dressed because it's just like it's too hot so I was like you know what I need to pull a few different looks that's easy and effortlessly cute and comfortable cool all of the summer vibes okay but still i look put together and elevated so i thought this would be a great video because actually these are tips that literally helped me get dressed within like the past week so mm. yeah let's get right into the video all right so honestly the number one thing that i have been reaching for the most in my wardrobe is going to be a white button-up shirt they're crisp i usually put mine in the cleanest because i love that crisp look but lately girl i've been wearing these things so much that i haven't even had time to get to the cleaners what i love about these shirts you can wear them so many different ways it's like an endless possibility of looks that you can constantly create you can wear them with biker shorts and maybe a bralette a sports bra a tube top you can button it up completely and wear it i don't know as a flowy dress i have literally wore this thing maybe every day since like last week because i have so many every year i pick up one from either h&m or zara because the quality is just usually chef's kiss but what i did realize zara switched up their formula they're doing like this cotton blend i do not recommend that one i would always try to get um a white button up that's maybe a hundred percent cotton because the cotton blend it does not breathe well that fabric I was sweating girl so that one I would probably only save for like the cooler months because it's fabulous I love the um how crisp and structured the shirt is but it does not fit well in like this 500 degree weather so it's a no for me all right y'all so this is the white shirt now this shirt is so old I do not have a link if I can find a dupe I'm going to link it below I got this shirt from Ashley Stewart girl like maybe four years ago it's been a long time like I have so many white shirts I usually like to pop the collar on this shirt because I just like the way it look but also it needs to go in the cleanest but look how fabulous this, this is it just it, it flows I also paired it with my um Hermes around sandals I forgot the color of this shoe but however look at that I'm pairing it with my sac de jour. This is the size small. And I have on my Fendi sunglasses, my favorite Fendi sunglasses. And yeah, also a Hermes click. This is just like something very easy out the door. I wanna be chic, cute. I can take myself to lunch, whatever, meet up with some friends. It really does not matter. I just love this and I love the pop of color. Like I said, anytime you have on like all white, that's when you can thrive with trying different colors. Step out of your comfort zone, that's what I'm trying to say. Anytime you have white, you can just step out your comfort zone. Now, personally, I would have liked to have a lighter pair of shorts. I don't really have a lot of shorts because personally, I don't wear shorts. But for this look, we just paired it with the Prada um, shorts underneath. So yeah, this is the look. Now also, this shirt is very wrinkled because I loaned my um, my steamer out and I thought I would have it before I um, recorded this video. And another thing, ignore this TV. I have to get this TV mounted, but I'm having a delay with the mounting situation. But yeah, and I could have easily mixed match and did like the yellow um, Hermes Iran sandals with this. You could just like play with it. It's just your time to have fun. Anytime you have on a white oversized shirt, girls just go for it. And this, like I said, this is one of many of the white shirts I have. It also has pockets. I probably would never use this pocket, but yeah, this is something that I could definitely just throw on and be out the door. I didn't even try hard with this at all. I look so put together, the glasses, everything. I just look like I, did something and I did nothing. <laughs> 
All right, so next up, I have my baby doll dresses. I'm actually wearing one now. I feel like with baby doll dresses, they're cute, they're short, they're flirty. I do not have to try hard at all. I don't have to even think, okay? All I have to do is put on the dress. My hair is already braided. Grab me a bag, a pair of shades, and I'm out the door. That's why I feel like around like the summertime, this is the perfect time to lean on your summer dresses, your, whatever your style of dress is, that's what you need to gravitate to right now, especially baby doll dresses because usually baby doll dresses are very flowy and they're usually like mini style so you're kind of like letting the legs breathe so even like the dress I have on now I think I paid like maybe $30 for this dress I've been having this dress for maybe five years picked it up from ASOS and girl she's still kicking like this is definitely one of my favorite um summer dresses so right now baby doll dresses girl if you're into that or uh, any style of dress that fits you of course you want to wear things that's flattering to your body so if you're not a baby doll um style of a dress maybe you're like a maxi dress type girl whatever style of dress that works for you this is the perfect time to go ahead in your wardrobe girl lean on them because with like I said with these items you don't have to think twice you don't have to think at all it's going to be so easy to get dressed because the with baby doll dresses they usually have this real cute flirty silhouette or cut so you don't really have to do too much just accessorize and y'all the dough all right so this is the baby doll dress I got this like I said I want to say four or five years ago from ASOS and I love it it has this very very mini dress vibe I usually do like some biker shorts um, underneath it, some nude biker shorts. Absolutely love it. And I just paired it with my Rosalind Baginski hat because why not? It's just so appropriate. Um, right now I have on my Gucci platforms. I thought it just kind of like gave it another element of surprise. I guess you can say another texture at the bottom instead of doing like a nude sandal. I feel like the Gucci platform just gave it a little more life. And I'm also wearing my Gucci try to bag now usually I wouldn't do a monogram on a monogram vibe but I don't know for some reason anytime I wear these shoes I always reach for this bag for some reason because I don't really have I don't know a bag that will go with this but this is the look guys I actually love this now this is also something that if I'm going out I want to be put together Um, the hat I feel like I call the hat the third piece because without the hat See, it kind of like takes away from me. It looks like the outfit is missing something. Of course, I could put on glasses or something, but I feel like the hat just gives it like this, oh yeah, that's what we were missing vibes. So I absolutely would recommend investing in you some hats. It does not have to be this hat. Just get you some fun summer hats, some fun summer scarves. That's why I always invest in hats and scarves because I just feel like they add to my look give me like the final touches on the look and yeah this is just a mini dress now this is something like i said i can wear if i'm running out to the bank i'm going to target some errands or i just want to run out for lunch but i'm hot so this dress is like a very lightweight breathable linen it's like a linen it's like a linen and cotton blend i don't know how to explain it but i absolutely love it it ties up in a bag it's super short and yeah Super good. Now, I originally was gonna wear my um, Dior frames, but for some reason, I feel like with the hat, the frames just wasn't going well. So I'm gonna leave it alone. But this is an easy look. Once again, look like I tried hard and I did not, girl. All right, so next I have another style of dress and that's gonna be a maxi dress. Now, I'm not really a midi um, summer dress type of girl. If I do a midi dress, it would have to be like a fitted dress because I'm short. If I do a midi dress that's flowy, I just look frumpy and it just does nothing for my body, okay? And we need, we need to look good, okay? We need to feel good, we need to feel confident and just midi dresses, girl, if it's not fitted, it ain't for me, okay? So I, I usually stick to like maxi dresses. Now, when it comes to maxi dresses, girl come on now it's summertime okay maxi dresses is it's, it's appropriate for some reason i don't see maxi dresses anymore like i don't see them on instagram i don't see people wearing them and i'm just like baby i have a closet full and when i tell y'all i throw them on so when it comes to maxi dresses i feel like this is a dress 
that looks good on any body type anybody can wear a maxi dress they just look good even if you're short you can get it tailored you can get it altered to fit your um your length your body whatever you want to do i feel like maxi dresses is something that is literally a summer must have you must have at least five <laughs> I'm not gonna say one because you must have at least five different maxi dresses in your wardrobe girl They're gonna just take you through the summer. Okay, so if you don't have one I'm gonna see if I can link some down below because honestly my favorite maxi dresses They're all from ASOS and they're literally probably under $50. All right, y'all. So this is my take on a Maxi dress today now the thing is this I don't know if I said this in this video But all of the looks that I'm showing you guys these are things that I would kind of like pull out during the week. Like I said, I wanted to look, I want to continue to try <laughs> to look elevated and put together in this heat. So now this was a maxi dress, but what I did was I split it on the side and right now I just have on my Prada shorts. Um, I split this because it just had like a weird fit. It was very tight and it just looked very unflattering on me. So I just split it and I absolutely love it this way because I just wear it with some cut off shorts and it's still flowy, breathable. It looks like a dress from the front. When you turn to the side, it looks like a shirt. And this is what the back looks like. Um, also guys, I'm still learning my um, lighting situation in the new space, so just bear with me if the lighting is crazy while I'm showing you guys the looks. This is also um, a different style of video I'm trying, so I'm just trying new things, okay? So just bear with me. But I paired it with my Arizona Love dad sandals. I would highly recommend Arizona Love if you are into the dad sandal, you want to try it, but you don't really like the extra chunky sandals i love the fact that arizona's love still give you like that glitz and glam vibe so i would highly recommend these you can always find them on farfetch on sale so just to bring a little more color back into this look i added my saint laurent sac de jour in the size nano with the gold hardware and the, wow, I'm really losing my thought. The Hermes Extra Wide Click with the Gold Hardware. I thought it just was like perfect. It gave me like a little pop of color and the glasses. Of course, we need sunglasses. These glasses are by Jacques Mousse. And yeah, this is a fun little throw on look that I could wear anywhere. I'm actually gonna be packing this in my suitcase this week because I'll be out of town and this is something that I can just throw on and be out the door. I could add a scarf if I want to. It just depends on where you wanna go with it, but I feel like this is actually something that I love. So, yeah. Now the last thing that has really been helping me when it comes to getting dressed, that's gonna be my hair and makeup. I feel like when it comes to hair and makeup, that is literally like the make or break of your whole entire look okay you can literally have on something that's really cute but if your hair and makeup is just kind of like a mess or you don't feel confident with your hair and makeup you know you're going to just be falling apart right now i personally feel like it's too hot for me to be trying to like figure out a lace situation so i was like baby we need some braids okay and when these braids are done we need more braids and also the makeup look that i have on today you probably can't even see girl i do have on lashes these lashes are like literally mimi thigh thigh itsy bitsy like nothing but what i love about them this is literally like my i'm running out the house to go to the bank i'm going to um starbucks i can literally put on my sunglasses and these don't bother me at all i just needed something that's very lightweight i need my skin to show through and breathe lately when it comes to my um summer foundation or summer makeup look i'm still trying to tweak it every year i feel like i'm trying to tweak it because it's just so hot i do not want to wear a full face of makeup i don't want to have too much hair with the braids i girl getting dressed so easy because like i don't have to worry about my hair at all but when it comes to makeup i just still want to look presentable and for me the whole concealer and that's it that's not really a vibe for me i just feel like i look crazy so i just try to do a very 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 thin layer dang near almost like a tinted moisturizer i mix my foundation with like a little bit of my moisturizer just to get like an even canvas lately i have really been relying on blush 
highlight and bronzer. Um, I got a, like a little eyeshadow. I just didn't want a whole lot of makeup. So right now, I would definitely recommend Girl, you have to find you a summer makeup routine that's literally probably less than 10 products because it is hot, sis. You're gonna be melting. I had on a full face of makeup because I recorded one day and I had to go out to get my nephew. But by the time I made it back home, y'all, I just looked disgusting. I just wanted the makeup off. So that's when I was like, okay, it's time to really tweak my summer foundation, no makeup look. And this look, I, I like it. I don't have that much on my brow. This is a very minimal like look. I, I'm going to tweak some things. But for the most part, even when I go outside, I come back in. I just have a, like a dewy look, but I can still deal with that versus a full face that I, I just feel cakey and I feel like I'm mixed with sweat. It's just not the vibe. So I'm still tweaking my no foundation or no makeup makeup look for summer. This is what I've come up with. Even these lashes, I'm gonna try to link them down below. They're so small. I don't know if y'all can see these things. They're literally so small. If you come up close to me, you can see them, but if you fall away, girl, they're non-existent. But yeah, girl, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is literally all of the things that I have been I guess reaching for or going for or just trying out because it's literally so hot. I don't know where you live at in New Orleans. It literally got up to like 103 degrees one day. It is so hot. I told my grandma every time I step out of the house, I feel like I'm just double dutching on Satan's um, front porch. Like I don't want to go outside. I want no parts of this. I'm not even going to the pool, girl. It's just so hot. So I hope you guys are staying cool, girl. Stay in your house there's nothing outside okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful and informative and all of the things if you enjoyed it girl go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you girls in the next video